I'd just say that um, looking at a solution is memorizing it. And if you are getting the solution, then you're understanding it. So that's probably the difference between looking at the solution and getting the solution. And um, personally speaking, in class up till class 10th, I, when I reflect back, I feel that there were times when I just looked at the solution. Yeah. And I probably repent at it now. Yeah. But in class 11th, my teachers had told me and I learned it. Do not look at the solution. Think on it. Right. Okay. Then again, you don't have infinite time. Yeah. So, um, well, you can say for mathematics, you have to spend more time. Right. In chemistry, it's all right if you don't get a topic because right. in chemistry there are a variety of questions which you have to just understand how to solve right. and not infinite. Like right. in math, you, you can always get new questions and you right. won't know how to solve them. Right. So that's what I would say. And in physics, um, in physics there are new questions. But there are standard ones also. For the standard ones, if you don't get them in the first try, it's alright looking at the solution because okay. solution solving is also something that you can learn. Yeah. If I'm not getting a, a question, right? Uh, should I keep on attempting it two times, three times, right? 10 minute, 15 minute, 1 ghanta, right? Uh, is there any guideline to the you know the guys watching this? So uh, like like you said that you can often skip a question that's okay. not an issue okay. but like Sarvesh said if you skip it completely you didn't learn from it yeah. so you have to learn from it so what often it so happens that people go after numbers yeah. and numbers do matter also because they are what give you mental confidence I've solved these many questions it's important so when you're solving the questions if you don't get a question you can leave it go to the next one yeah. but don't leave it in the first class yeah. first class leaving is the worst idea because it just might turn out that you have to add two numbers you just can't see where to add them very interesting Savish, any other further inputs on that point? Okay, so when we are like solving, there are some reasons why we don't have problems solved. First reason is that we will study the concept. So that's not your fault. We will study it and when we study it, it will be done. Second thing is that the concept is clear. It's just one way to study the theory and the concept is clear. Third thing is that the child says that I have studied and my concept is clear. Then there is no problem solved. So it's a very big reason that we don't remember what we had studied. एक एक पूरा चैप्टर पढ़ लिया अब हमें चैप्टर के बीच में कुछ एक फॉर्मूला पढ़ा था वो याद ही नहीं है और यहाँ पे उसकी एप्लीकेशन है सो so, अगर ऐसा होता है तो आफ्टर यू कम्प्लीट चैप्टर गो थ्रू इस चैप्टर वन सेकेंड कि उसमें गेट अ क्लोजर ऑन दैट कि एंड नोट डाउन द फॉर्मुले लाइक यू कैन डू नोट दिस नोटिंग डाउन फॉर्मुले एंड रिविजन टाइम ऑल्सो और चैप्टर के साथ साथ बिकॉज वंस यू लर्न द थिंग ये वो कॉन्फिडेंस की अगर मेरे से नहीं हो रहा तो मतलब मैंने पढ़ा नहीं है मतलब मेरे को कॉन्सेप्ट नहीं पढ़ाया गया सो लर्न मीन्स हैविंग अ फ्लो ऑफ द चैप्टर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द Overall confidence. Or any recommendation on ki a question pe kiti dher lagi rehna chahiye? Okay, so that depends on person to person. Mere liye personally kya tha like maths ke liye, especially like maths problems take a lot of time, maths and physics. So, once I saw like 10 minutes laga diye, then I used to move on to the next problem. Come on to that a day later. If I'm able to solve that, then fine. If I'm not able to solve, I directly means I look up the solution because otherwise ye like it piles up and then hamesha ke liye rehe jata hai. And you can just like look up the solution this time and apply this to a later problem. Like you are learning finally, right? And you means devoted a given amount of time. So I think 10 minutes is I think more than enough for a standard problem. All right. 